Good morning and welcome to coffee time. Let me scoot just a little further. This is not about bows. This is about not about arrows. Look at my production methods. This is not about things that fling, strictly speaking, but it does have stuff to do with soaring objects. I need to start this, this lecture by first saying that I attempted to download a video the other day and something happened. It didn't show that it was processing, it didn't show that it was in the procedural parts of downloading this video, but instead it indicated to me that YouTube had identified it as something that might be bad, which it wasn't. It was entitled My Trip to the Mall. And in this this little discussion, I was just talking about differences I see now than in the past. But the thought police were going to analyze it, and that was rather disturbing. So instead of getting upset, which is neither here nor there, I'm going to do a positive one. And so I'm going to bring the world of other stuff into my bow and arrow channel. One of the most satisfying and heartwarming things um, that my channel gives to me, provides for me, eh, is the chance to meet you folks, discuss things with you folks, trade with you folks, this repartee that we have. And I, I really have to say something about this, this, this last one. Um, I did some videos and they're on my other channel. If you go to my, my home page or whatever it's called, I'm not too up on this, this modern stuff. My banner, you see that beautiful bow, the sinew backed oak one. There's a little thing that says Jars Forest. That's my other channel. If you click on that, you'll go to that other one. And on that one, you will see that I'm discussing whatever. Part of that whatever is model aerial planes. I'm, I'm fascinated by a lot of things. I'm a child of the 60s and the 70s, and we, we had simpler ways. We didn't have video games. We had stuff that we did outside. And one of those was little model airplanes. And this could have been one that I actually had back then. This is from the 60s, Starflyer. And I was discussing how I have two Starflyers. This is complete. But the other one is missing wings. It has everything, the empennage, the fuselage, the propellerage, the wheelages, but it doesn't have the wings. And so a fellow, Randy, who is also a bona fide model airplane, vintage model airplane enthusiast, is like, emailed me out of the blue. Hey, I've got a set of Starflyer wings. I'm gonna send them to you. And I thought, how generous is that? Because that little airplane I showed you pretty rare in that vintage in the yellow packaging if you know your north pacific planes probably pay 80 bucks for that thing yeah out of the blue he's going to send me some wings now they're strapped on this medieval torture device because they see the signs of aging and these are even older than the wings on that plane because these are a different shape they're bigger not to get too technical these are these are older these are 60 70 years old and so I have to do some work to them. There's some cracks and some problems. So I strap them to my medieval torture device. And then I take a balsa wood from the other kits that I have. You punch the parts out and you got some spare. Patch that, patch the cracks, get them, get them up to speed. But he didn't stop there. Randy, being the generous fellow he is, basically sent me a model airplane collection and let me run through these things not in any order of uh, appearance I'm gonna save these two for last you would say that this tester's dart look at how this is in tremendous shape if you went to Hobby Lobby and just purchased it a couple weeks ago and sent it out no 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 you would be wrong this is from the 60s in 100% beautiful condition and I was out flying it around like a young lad yesterday or the day before. I think yesterday was snowy and windy. It's in perfect shape. This is in pristine shape. This is a relic from the past, Tester's Dart. 
He also included, now this is a reproduction, America, uh, Jim Walker's American Junior, Ameri yeah, America Junior, AJ. This is tricky too. This is a reproduction, modern made, styled after an AJ catapult glider. You have this rubber band launching device and you would slingshot it into the air. But this one's tricky because check this out. Let's see if I can do this. Folding wings. And this, the original one, not many, many moons ago. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. And it might be interesting to note that during World War II, American Junior produced one called the Army Interceptor, and it was the only model airplane, not this one, this is the Plain Jane, the Army Interceptor, which similar kind of folding wing thing. The only model airplane, balsa wood model airplane, that was purchased by the Army via contract to give gunners a chance to sh practice shooting down airplanes. This thing helped win World War, World War II, its predecessor, the American Junior Army Interceptor. Again, this is a modern copy. I also have another one, American Junior, that I, I, I bought a long time ago. It's in the Nature Center. What else? In this tissue paper, I have the holy grail of vintage model airplane enthusiasts. Although there's many to be to be treasured and wanted, the sleek streak in original yellow packaging. He sent me a complete unpunched out sleek streak. And not to like throw money, because that's rather crass, you could spend 40, 50 bucks for this at least if you could find one in the packaging in good condition. And then this cool little straddle glider. I mean, Randy, you went all out trying to put together a nice package for me and it's greatly appreciated. Now I have shown you wonders of model airplane collecting, but I have one that I never even heard of because it predates these by a long margin. We're going back to the 1920s here, folks. By my calculations, it's darn near 100 years. This one, I'd like to figure out how to conserve the paper, the plans that it came with. It was wrapped in these plans, the boomerang plan, plane. But check this out, from the 20s, 1920s. He gave me this. Never asked for it. What kind of condition this is in? I need to be very careful with this thing. This is about 100 years old. But this is another type of catapult glider. Just hang on. And it comes, the rubber bands are still in actually reasonable shape. Let's put this here. I'm not going to do the rubber banding of it. An interesting little creation. A dual wing affair, a biplane as it were. Almost a canard and you launch it with this rubber band, the boomerang plane was designed to like go out and then come right back. Hence the boomerang from the 1920s. 100 years old. And if that's not generous, I don't know what. And I also have to mention our friend Phil, Phil King, the same name as Pagan Pride's father, proving once and for all that anyone named Phil King is a good guy, has over the years again without being asked has sent me glue that he has produced sinew all sorts of treasures of bow building and then there's warpath check out his web page if you're watching this if you're willing to watch something about model airplanes check out warpath's arch warpath archery's um facebook page g is amazing I'm going to show you some stuff that he is sending me. Again, not asked for. It's almost like the Mafia, I was joking. I'm like, seriously, you're going to send me this stuff just for free? And he goes, someday I might ask you for a favor. I may knock at your door. I'm paraphrasing here. And when I ask you for a favor, you will do this favor for me. <laughs> the Bow Mafia. But yep, that's about it. Um, if I related 
that like one of the greatest things that have that has happened to me because of my bow channel as the wolf pit says it's because you the viewers you have made this worthwhile I appreciate it greatly I appreciate you and that is my positive message for today go forth upon the land now and do battle with the evils but keep a positive note in your heart there are still good things out there. You've proved it. That is a wrap. Have a good one. And don't be embarrassed to engage in silly activities because we need that. We need a lighthearted approach to life as well as being serious about things. It's a balance. And I don't see the trees bouncing around. I do not see snow or rain for once it looks like it's a nice day randall i am going to use some of your planes today in my scientific research <laughs>